Hello everyone. So this time we want to talk about evaluating i, i squared, i cubed, and i fourth, and even higher power. From the last video, we talk about i means square root negative one. So there is a key point to be begin this topic today. So before we analyzing the value of i and i square i square i fourth, I want to double check with you something uh, with radical value such as square root a. Okay, what is the square root a square? It is a, right? So basically, the inside value. Square root inside value to the square become always inside value here. So one example. So square root maybe seven square, then this become seven here, right? So even square root maybe two x y square, they also become just to x y so based on this concept now we can make square root negative one square which means negative one because square root inside value of the square become always inside value that's the reason so since we know i equal to square root negative 1 square root negative 1 square means i square that equal to negative 1 actually okay then now what about i cube so i cube which means i times i times i here right so you can rewrite that i square times i basically and then we know i square which is negative one therefore this means negative one times i so become negative i then what about i to the fourth power so i to the fourth means we can do i times i times i times i we know we combine these two i square another i square and this means negative one time negative one becomes one basically so now i can summarize those four values look at this please so we know i just equal to i because we didn't do anything but i square becomes negative 1 i cube becomes negative i i fourth becomes 1 here then what do you think i fifth yes i fifth becomes i times i times i times i times i if you notice the pattern already then you can rewrite this i fourth times i which is i basically and now i to the sixth which means now i can write i fourth time i square right which means one time negative one equal to negative one i seventh i seventh means now i four times i square times i therefore this will become one time negative one times i therefore negative i what do you think i eight then which means i four times I fourth equal to 
one test one equal to one basically. So based on this pattern, I can rewrite i fifth also equal to i i sixth also equal to negative one i seventh negative i i eighth one then can you guess what i ninth i tenth i eleventh and i twelfth power if you think this is i, this is negative 1, negative i, and then 1, your, your guess is correct. Then, whatever i just give you really higher power, such as maybe i to the 321, something like that, can you evaluate this big power using this pattern? then we need to find clear pattern so that we know what to do. So there are two different ways to analyze i value here. One thing is dividing by four. Okay, so let me show you here. So what is the five divided by four and then nine divided by four? If you calculate that, you will do 4 goes into 5 one time and then remainder 1. 9, 4 goes 2 times and then remainder 1. So both case remainder 1 and the answer becomes i. At the same time, 6 and 10. 6 and 10. I'm going to erase this one. We will go over later. So 4. 6 divided by 4, then 4 go to 6 one time, and then remain the 2, and then twice, 8, remain the 2 as well. So if the remainder is 2, the answer become negative i. Now, let's continue. i 7th and i 11th. We just divide 7 by 4, also divide 11 by 4. Then 4 goes to 7 one times, and then remainder become 3. So this is 11 divided by 4 actually. This is not easy to read, so I, I'm going to rewrite it. So 4 goes to 11 twice, and 8, remainder 3 here. Then if remainder 3, the answer become negative i. Okay? Now, i to the 8, i to the 12, they are divisible evenly by 4. 8 divided by 4, 2. 12 divided by 4, 3. So, no remainder. If there's no remainder, the answer become 1 here. That's the one way to evaluate it. So using this um, maybe pattern, we may practice a few questions, then I'm going to move on uh, another method, okay? So let's think about i to the 321 power here. Simply, you just make division the exponent by exponent by 4. So 321 divided by 4, so I can see for 4 goes into 32 8 times and 32 and the 1. So remainder is, so the quotient becomes 80, the remainder equal to 1, therefore answer becomes i. Okay? So let's do one more, maybe i to the 103 power. Then now 103 divided by 4, 4 goes to 10 twice. And 23, so 4 goes 23 5 times 20, and then remainder 3. Whenever remainder was 3, the answer becomes negative i. So answer becomes negative i in this case. What about i to the 1002 here? Same thing, you are making division 
So 4 goes to 10 twice and they become 8 and 20 then 5 times 20 and 2 only comes down here so it becomes 250 remainder 2 remainder 2 which means negative 1 like that make sense to you okay good